Today's vlog featuring Dave Grohl and the Food Fighters. <laughs> Public apology, guys. It's on camera. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Don't forget that the battles won. I'm going off roading. Oh no! I did so magical. So a reminder to just keep swimming. Good morning, people. It is a cold and rainy Sunday morning. I just got my church on, just got my Walmart on. There it is. And I'm gonna go home and get my Sunday cleaning on, I guess. We're still on the post-Christmas house looking like a tornado came through it mode. Um, cleaners are coming tomorrow and it's a good opportunity to straighten some things up. So I'm going to do that while I listen to my new Foo Fighters album that I got while I was in there. I've been eyeballing it for a while. I've always been a casual fan of the Foo Fighters. And I've always really liked Dave Grohl. He seems like a cool, just all-around good guy. So I'm trying to get a little bit more into their stuff. And I saw the Greatest Hits album, and I thought... Hey, that'd be a good record to add to the collection. So I did that and I'm gonna pop it on while I do some cleaning today. Okay guys, so Raj started the vlog today. So I just quickly wanted to say, uh, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And I also went to church today via live stream as always. But um, today's sermon was on point. It was on John 5 and uh, it was just, it was, what? Just notice that this was tucked away back there. <laughs> While we're talking about I the talked sermon. talked about it earlier. There's the Foo Fighters album. <laughs> Today's vlog featuring Dave Grohl and the Foo Fighters. <laughs> anyway, the sermon was great. The music, of course, was great. You can always check out my Instagram for that for about 24 hours. He's home, obviously, and before he has to start doing some stuff around the house, we wanted to watch SNL. However, SNL did not actually come back on last night. So, we're still behind on a show that I really want to catch up on. But it seems like we're watching Future Man. So, it's just so awesome because I want to well, see it What show are we behind on? This Is Us. And every time I bring it up, you sigh. Because or... we're not behind on it. Wait. Yeah, we're not. You keep thinking we are. Oh, crap, says... you're right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that then. Public apology, guys. It's on camera. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I keep forgetting that it says one on my account because we usually watch it logged into Roger's account on Hulu. So, my bad. You're right. And we're going to watch Future Men. Or Future Men. Futterman. Futterman. <laughs> yeah. All right. See y'all later. All right, guys, just a quick check-in. We are now both having respective nap for him and attempted nap for me times. So I guess I should have nap time and attempted nap time, but whatever, you get it. We're both just kind of worn out. He hasn't had a good night's sleep the past couple nights. I never have a good night's sleep, so it's kind of my norm and I'm used to it, but last night was particularly rough with the weather and the pain of various kinds, so... Since I take my next dose uh, today, I'm going to try to rest. And actually, I think I'm going to take my dose and then try to rest. So I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, sorry for that weird light, but at least you can see me a little better. I had to set up my cell phone just to get a little bit of light here so you could see. I am taking Vial 10 today. So um, this is the second half of Vial 10. So I'm not taking the whole Vial 10. I'm taking the second half of Vial 10 of the Borrelia Babesia Desbio Homeopathic Remedy Series Therapy. It is, um, it's a whopper. Ten, the 10th ten vial is the highest dose. It's the least diluted. It's the highest concentration of nosodes. And the first half has not behaved the way that I hoped it would. I have gotten a little just overall has not been handling it well so a little nervous but also knowing that it's all going to be worth it in the end let's do this
guys, I'm uh, signing it off for the night. I'm uh, having a pain flare that I briefly mentioned earlier, like I had last night, and it's getting worse, and it's probably because I took my dose several hours ago, so things are starting to kick in, so I'm currently listening to Mantis, uh specifically the song Keep Getting Up, and I love it, and I'll share with you the lyrics to the chorus, but the whole song is amazing. And I was telling Roger that I remember this song, Keep Getting Up, is the song that was playing for the vlog footage for our very first trip to DC to see Dr. Jim Sick when I was pursuing that course of treatment before it became not feasible for us. And that was, I believe, June 7th, or it could have been the 17th. I don't know, it was, I don't remember, but I think it was, I think the video says, like, first visit to DC clinic or gym sick or something like that, and then says, I think it's June 7th, 7-8, I think it's two videos in one. But anyway, it's just cool that this is a song, and the message of the chorus says, um, Okay, actually, I'm going to read the first verse, too, um, because it applies, especially, and even when we're talking about, like, having to change treatment plans, and how we have, we have had to go, um, you know, back and forth due to what we're able to do at any given point in time, but it says, wouldn't it be nice if we get it right the first time, but that's not how it goes for most. Change seems like it takes a lifetime. But he is patient with us, and he invites us to trust and hold on to hope. Never let go. His love will always meet us there. In the chorus, and I don't have music playing right now. And I've told y'all many times, I'm a rapper, not a singer. I can't play the full clip, though, because it will be flagged for copyright. So it says, uh, when we get knocked down one more time, we swing hard. But lose the fight. Don't forget that the battle's won. When we keep getting up, keep getting up. And it's followed by the line, I won't read much more, but it's followed by the line, wouldn't it be great if when we fall, we didn't stay down so long or get caught up in the past, keeping track of all the times it went wrong. I'm sorry, I'm actually going to keep reading. What if we remember if we are loved and we believe that it's enough to inspire us and light a fire in us to get up and try again? Because when we get knocked down one more time, we swing hard but lose the fight. Don't forget that the battle's won when we keep getting up, keep getting up. Ironically, the next part... Um, it's so perfect, literally, because I've been crawling a lot lately because I haven't been able to walk and my head hasn't been able to handle the noise of the scooter board. I'm not going to try to sing the bridge because I've actually tried a few times and I, I can't get it right unless I'm singing along with the track. But the words are literally, it's not gravity that tethers us to the ground. What if it's only doubt and we can somehow shut it out, get mad and shout, I won't stay down. And that part I'll sing because I scream it every time. Like I said, guys, I know I'm not the best singer, but tonight specifically that spoke to me because the reason I chose that song after I crawled to the bathroom to brush my teeth and stuff is because I really wanted to be able to stand up and have Roger help me walk back to the bedroom standing and not crawling. So... It was pretty apropos that as we were walking, the song was playing, and you know, it was saying, when we keep getting up, keep getting up. So, I just really wanted to share that with you guys, and Raj is getting ready to go to bed. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Like I said, I am in quite a bit of pain, but believe it or not, but I mean, you should believe it because it's true. Just letting myself sing that just now, even though it was probably off pitch and parse, um, has kind of lessened my pain because it gets my focus where it belongs, and that's, well, I'm lying down, so it doesn't really matter, but you can't tell I'm pointing up because it looks like I'm pointing at you, so that's, that's God, that's, I don't have anything right here beside me. Uh, my Bible's on the floor, but it's too heavy to pick up with one hand, but that's God. 
God works in ways like that. So this is our day for January 12th plus 1, uh, 2019. I want to say a very happy 30th birthday to my best friend from childhood through almost all of high school. And um, I mean, we're still friends. We just aren't in the same geographical region region and you know I can't really do much anyway with friends but I did send her a text today so we got a text back and forth and I wish her a happy 30th birthday so that made me really happy and um you going to bed Raj yep all right it's bedtime I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and say good night and we'll see you guys when we see you bye